what's up guys the last time when I did the carburetor cleaning I had to take everything apart I mean I had to remove the fuel tank I had to take the whole carburetor off because I was removing this intake manifold and replacing it but this time um, I am going to open up the other side of the carburetor which is this side right here without removing everything to show you some of the adjusting things you can do to change the fuel mixture Let's get to work. So the bolt here is now taken off and what I'm going to do now is to take these bolts off and then lift the tank up like this um, with this side of the tank actually attached to the frame and then I'm going to use some of these wood pieces there to give a little space you know, for me to reach in there. This one here is pretty tricky. It's quite, you know, it's behind that. So sometimes if you have a little screwdriver looking like that, that comes really handy. So in here, there's a diaphragm, which is this, and then the jet needle, which is inside, and then you need a flathead screwdriver, like that. Once this is out, you may want to check if there's any rip or anything. Um, looks to me, this is looking good. So what I'm using now is to use a flathead screwdriver and unscrew the jet needle which is inside right like that so that's the needle and then on the needle there's a little clip which is this as you can see my clip is at the third slot from the top I mean the back of the needle so yeah let's take let's take it off and see uh, how it looks now you can see that there are five slots in here and then the clip was on the middle one the third from the top the back side of the needle if you change it to the higher slot which is the back side of the needle your fuel mixture is going to go leaner and then if you go lower on these slots uh, which is closer to the needle tip uh, you're going richer on the mixture now going from medium to rich actually is okay especially for those who are um, living you know somewhere cold if you're moving the clip to higher slot you are going to get a very slow response on the throttle uh, which could be kind of dangerous so you may want to be careful with that if you feel like you are running rich and then moving it to the higher slot, which is back side of the needle, you just move one slot above and then um, just double check you know, with the throttle response. Uh, if you are getting delay on the throttle response, that means you are getting you know, the mixture that is too lean. You are opening up the throttle and then you are not getting an immediate response, which is dangerous. So you don't want to do that. Usually the default setting is right here in the middle. So if that doesn't work, uh, you may want to double check you know, other things too, like um, the float chamber, 
you know, if you need to clean or check, you know, if there is any clog in the jets. Uh, but otherwise, this is an easy adjustment you can do, but if the bike is still running funky, you may still want to check the other components of the carburetor. So my bike is running fine, so I'm just going to put the clip right back on here, right in the middle, and then put reassemble everything back together. Here's the jet needle, and let's just put that back in the diaphragm with that going behind, like that I guess, like that. By the way, I'm replacing this with a new one. Uh, it's the exact same thing, but just a new one. The old one looks like that, you can see the... Uh, the difference there. So let's just tighten it up and then reassemble everything back on and it's all done. There, oh good. So let's just put this back on. All good. So let's put the tank back on and put the seat back on and I'm ready to go for the test ride. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.